Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 12th to the 18th of April 2021. I hope you well Taurus. Let's I am a couple of days late actually with this. Um, I've just had a ridiculously busy week. So, and I don't particularly like rushing these readings because, you know, you have to get the message right. So let's see what we have for you for from the 12th to the 18th of April, 2021. What is the message Taurus needs to hear, please, for the week? Okay. Oh, nice. Number 37, Seek Your Destiny. I don't think that card has ever come out, actually. Um... Destiny is at play. And it's aligning to that. Germany through our intuition. Or signs, reading signs. Yeah, knowing the time to act. So we have focus. Yeah. This can be focused intent for some of you where you need to place your focus now okay so let's pull three cards and then we clarify go deeper into the message as you know by now Taurus and it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you as always okay message for Taurus please angels spirits guides message for Taurus message for Taurus thank you What do we have? Okay, there you are. So the two of swords with the Hierophant. The Hierophant is you, card of Taurus in the Major Arcana. Advice from Spirit, the Ace of Wands, lovely energy. And we have near future outcome, the world. Let's clarify, go deeper into the message for Taurus, please. Let's clarify, go deeper into this message for Taurus, thank you. Yeah, we've got the moon energy and the six of swords. I've got the Sun and the Ace of Wands, lovely energy, and the World card, we have the Eight of Swords here, Taurus, clarifying the world. And, oh my goodness, Destiny, the Wheel of Fortune, yeah. It feels like you're stuck here, Taurus. There's definitely an energy of being stuck. Um, and maybe a lack of progress. The, there's, you might be weighing something up. I mean, you know, the two of swords can sometimes be to do with lack of clarity, feeling stuck, uh, needing more information, waiting for more information to come your way or waiting for the clarity to come, maybe to make some kind of decision choice, or get clear how to move forward, you know? And it definitely feels, I mean, the Hierophant is a card of, is your card, stability, security, safety, success. This could be in terms of love, romance, relationships, ship, something to do with your heart and soul, your passion, your desire. It can also be to do with business opportunity, career opportunity, that kind of energy. It feels like there's a lack of clarity and it's reinforced by the moon, again, lack of clarity energy on moving out of troubled waters and moving towards better times ahead. There's a feeling of, of feeling stuck um, and not really seeing how something's gonna pan out or having enough information to make some kind of decision or choice to find that direction, you know? Um, 
this you can see the troubled waters here this person moves towards calmer waters but again there's a lack of clarity with the with the moon energy here I mean, all the time, I will say, the sun and moon together is divine energy watching over you. Things happening when they're meant to happen with the Wheel of Fortune. Um, there's quite powerful, you're being watched over guided, even though you don't see it here, Taurus. And again, the spiritual energy of have faith with the Hierophant. You'll get the answers, the wisdom you need here. Um, it definitely feels in this energy there's just been a feeling of stuck, lack of direction. Now, the, the Six of Swords can be a card of transition, change, moving from A to B, can be to do with moving, relocating, or progress. Um, and it generally moves away from something that may have caused troubles or challenges or karma, you know, or uh, something that might have caused you a lot of stress, anxiety, worry. You know, it definitely feels that like you are being watched over. Yeah, you are being watched over. But again, you know, the universe sees the big picture, but you don't in this situation. There's a lack of clarity here in how to move forward or how something is going to pan out. However, everything will become clear. Everything is revealed and will become clear. Um, and it's like a grand plan because it feels like somebody has a grand plan for you and it's linked with your destiny um, because we have the wand which is to do with our destiny um, the seed cards the aces are you know where the mortal world is touched by divine energy so their seed cards they're touched they're very much to do with our destiny um, and this is the opportunity the exciting opportunity now this could be in terms of a passion a desire love romance relationships this can also be to do with business, career, finance, you know, business, career areas, um, taking action towards a new opportunity that could be in jobs, business. Uh, it could also be you starting something, you taking action towards something to do with your heart and soul here, Taurus. But a new door is absolutely opening, but there's a feeling of everything's revealed when it's meant to be revealed. And for some of you, I'm feeling that you're getting clarity quite soon all will be revealed very soon and that's what I'm feeling here and it's going to be exciting this is an exciting opportunity that you absolutely want to take action towards why because it's linked with your heart and soul it ties in with a passion of yours and it promises the potential of growth and success long term should you take action towards it that sun energy can be a kind of good news celebration happiness joy ahead um but again, there's a feeling of everything becoming clear here. And it's a feel-good energy. Where there's been, it feels um, just this feeling of being stuck, lack of clarity. There is just things begin to happen here. Um, it's a lovely energy. It's the, I mean, the sun is energy, vitality, growth. Uh, good things happening, very good in terms of success as well. And there's an energy of what has been keeping you trapped, this feeling of feeling trapped in a situation, of not moving forward, of not seeing the way forward, of seeing the situation as being futile. In a way, it was futile in the sense that you had no control over it because the Wheel of Fortune is in charge here. So this is good luck, good fortune, expansion, growth, things happening when they're meant to happen. It's that transmutable of endings and beginnings and it's the energy of cycle cycles ending cycles beginning um and again it happens when it happens and again you can see with the world card which can be a card of major completion victory success worldly success accomplishment celebration we have the completion and then the new beginning card here as well so it definitely feels in this energy certainly in your in your thought patterns here taurus there's an energy, I'm never going to see the end, end of this. I'm never going to see the end in sight. The message is, yes, you will. The success, the victory, the accomplishment, the achievement, the goal is coming your way. And it heralds, um, yeah, it heralds some kind of completion and new phase starting in your life. 
but very much connecting to destiny, things happening when they're meant to happen. Nevertheless, this is a wonderful card of good things want to come into your life. Um, obstacles being removed, a wonderful energy of expansion, things opening up, opportunity opening up. Um, very good in terms of money and career as well, this Jupiterian energy. It, it just feels in this energy here, Taurus, the exciting opportunities being presented. So lovely, lovely energy here. I'm going to pull a card for this Ace of Wands. What is this Ace of Wands, please, for Taurus? What is this Ace of Wands for Taurus, please? Oh, so you are. Yeah. Where you weren't moving forward, where you weren't finding direction, finally you're moving from troubled times to calmer waters. The shift is happening. And you're detaching from that which doesn't serve you anymore. Anything that could have caused you stress, anxiety, worry, you're putting behind you. So it definitely feels like this new beginning energy. Um, you know, you could be moving moving home, you could be moving jobs, uh, you could be in life transitions here, um, but it definitely feels in this energy you're heading towards this new beginning. It feels like where there's been a feeling of being stuck, finally something is happening here that is bringing the shift and it's the Wheel of Fortune. It could be to do with some kind of coincidence here, divine timing and luck being on your side. Uh, there could be some lucky coincidence this week. Um, yeah, it definitely feels in this energy, you know, the Wheel of Fortune is the luck, but it's, it's, it's orchestrated luck, you know, we feel it's luck, how weird, you know, uh, it's, it's sometimes like this domino effect where things just happen that you feel how strange and you know, out of your control, but it's not, it's divine orchestration here, and there's definitely a definite energy of everything will become clear. Yeah. Interesting energy. So I'm going to, let's clarify this Wheel of Fortune. Let's clarify this Wheel of Fortune for Taurus, please. So we have the Five of Cups. Let's pull one more. Ten of Swords. So there's definitely energy of, yeah, I mean, you know, the, the Five of Cups can be to do with loss, regret, looking back, something making you feel down. But you're being told in this energy, there's such potential around you with those two cups being full. Even though three cups are being uh, lost, you know, three cups are spilt on the floor, there's two cups full of uplifting energy. So there's a feeling that all is not lost. Don't focus on the negative now, because for some of you, the period of something that has caused you pain, loss, um, regret, anxiety, you know, anxiety, hurt, um, you know, the Ten of Swords can be, like I said, to do with deep hurt, betrayal, uh, loss, crisis, call it what you will. Um, there is a new day, a new dawn rising in the distance, and it's a turn which is a completion. So something, the period of hurt, the period of um, pain, the period of maybe feeling stuck in troubled times for whatever reason, um, the difficulty in moving on from that as well emotionally, it feels for some of you there is something turning in your favour. And interestingly enough, yeah, I've got the Five of Pentacles. It feels to do with, I mean, yeah, it feels in this energy it's to do with finances. You know, Five of Pentacles can be a card of financial loss, uh, or changes in terms of your financial situation. It feels some of you probably experienced some job loss or found yourself in a situation where you were you had less money, you know, you were feeling the pinch. You know, this is the, you can see these two beggars, you know, out in the street feeling in the cold and yet they don't see, because they're so absorbed in the negative, they don't see the warm light of the church that they could go in and seek shelter, get food. So there's definitely an energy here of you've had a period of hardship, it feels, to do with money, career, finances, that even though you don't see it, be careful of your thought patterns because this can own you. And there's definitely an energy of there's real hope around you. All is not lost. Um, 
try to step back and see the bigger picture. Seek your destiny and focus. Don't focus on that which is negative. There is definitely an energy of law of attraction. What you put your energy into is where you'll get the reward, the wheel of fortune. So good luck. You're about to experience a turn. Uh, it feels like a change of fortune here quite powerfully because you're being watched over. And that's what that church is saying. You know, that symbol, uh, the symbol of the church is saying even in your darkest times when you might feel cast out, rejected, isolation, feeling the cold, feeling the pinch, whatever this is, there is the warm light of divine energy watching over you. And you need to focus, uh, get perspective, try and see the bigger picture. Try not to have this energy of feeling trapped in your own head of negativity because things are turning in your favor there's an element of luck but it feels like a change of fortune is on the cards here where there's a major completion in this feeling of lack and the new opportunity is opening up to you could be in the form of some news or information coming your way we have mercurial energy here with the six of swords okay so very powerful message for some of you very deep message for some of you as well taurus um I'm going to pull a final message and it's destiny. Destiny is at play. You know, you have, this is something that you're being watched over, guided, absolutely beautiful towards uh, completing one phase of your life and stepping through, breaking through to a new beginning. It feels that there could be some job, business, career opportunity that you're heading towards. Maybe some news or information that is allowing you to detach and move forward. Okay. Yeah. We have squirrel spiritual maintenance. Be your own caretaker. Yeah. I, I like this energy here, Taurus, because, you know, the squirrel, you know, collects the bounty, you know, and stores it. And it feels in this energy, this is just doing the things that you need to do um, in terms of self-preservation here to take care of you. And it definitely feels that that's going to pay off where you put your energy and time into. And, you know, you see the squirrel working so hard. It definitely feels in this situation it's going to pay off, you know, spiritual maintenance. You are being taken care of here very powerful message for you so i hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe i hope it's a wonderful week for you all and i will see you next time thank you